All right, guys, it is what, 16 January, uh, 1636 hours, that's 436 p.m. Eastern time. We have some movement right now on the old Bitcoin price. We are up 1.93% in the past 24 hours, so 43,510. So let's go to my other little window, kind of gives you a better range. So Bitcoin up 700 bucks. So it was down here in the little troughs, right here at 42.8, hovering about 43, and now we're jumping up to, let's see, about 42.5, up to 43, oh, it just refreshed. <laughs> 43.547.96, or whatever that was. What was it, 40, 43.547? What is this here, 43.509? But you got a lot of a lot of volume right here just popped in about four a little before four and earlier today we had some volume about 9 30 eastern time with some selling off some price drops down to 42 about what 42,000 42,000 and quickly coming back in with a eh, little bit less volume the volume really confuses me at you see the volumes i guess you have to go to the order books and uh, over here and over here and see what is actually being executed. More orders where people are dumping, thus driving the price down. I have not figured that out. I don't know if anybody has figured that out, but I just noticed whenever these, these big swings like this, sometimes, you, you know, always, mostly, likely, maybe <laughs> have these volume spikes right here at the bottom, these bars down here. And also right now, right before 1600, you have boom volume again right before so we're about 1355 so uh i mean um let's see five fifteen hundred yeah third what did i say that for i said that wrong 1555 right so you're at 15 so 355 i'm converting wrong in my head so 355 eastern time uh which is 1500 hours 55 yeah, so there we go. Then right when we got that, boom, it kept going up. It's still going up right now, 43.56. So we're seeing a price swing. Let's just say the day, let's go to the average here, about 42.8. So about, what, 700 buck increase. Let's see if that other app is accurate. 700? Yeah, about 740 buck increase in a short period of time. So it was stagnant for a bit. It was going kind of just a little bit up, a little bit down, a little bit sideways and not doing much at all. And now it is kind of making a little more positive green upswing to 45, yeah, 43, five. I'm just gonna watch this for a bit, but I just thought I'd post this video real quick in case anybody gives a crap. And you can see what I see. I just kind of bring this little ticker window up here. This is the Coinbase Pro thing app, the old GDAT thing I used to use to buy crypto back in the OG days. 2016, 2017, whenever. Not, not an early, early adopter when it was 20 cents. <laughs> those guys. But those guys, I think, bought. Most of them lost their laptops and can't cash in on the Bitcoin. I don't know. You hear those stories all the time. And that's why the ETFs are maybe going to be a nice solution. Or you don't have to hold the damn coins in a wallet and have the risk of losing the wallet and the keys and all that crap. It's a trade-off, right? It's a trade-off. You're, you're uh, basically letting the big brokerage accounts like Vanguard and Nat and BlackRock use their uh, cyber security and protections and all that crap to protect your crypto, protect the crypto. You're just buying the price of Bitcoin, right? You don't have to worry about risking being hacked, being scammed, and uh, just losing your uh, passwords and stuff in your wallet, your physical wallet too, if you have it in a ledger. And that can be uh, scammed. I did another video on the ledger wallets or any hardware wallet. You can do man in the middle, address spoofing, or you buy one of these uh, hardware wallets from a nefarious third party, or even you know, even Amazon, I don't know, you, not directly from the manufacturer, let's say. And then what they did, they embedded the uh, an address inside of the hardware wallet. So when you deposit it and stick it on the hardware wallet, it gets sent off site to them. And cha-ching, you have been scanned out of your crypto. Yeah, man, they want your money. And they'll do anything they can instead of working for it to get it. So instead of going to a crappy nine to five job, they just work all day at scamming people. And I guess it pays off, right? Anyway, here we go. Now we're dripping back down, 43.4. So let's just see what happens. I'm gonna leave this up for a bit. So we are moving up. All right, that is all I got. Little Bitcoin price movement just now, about 1600 Eastern time on a Tuesday.